The government has dispatched the Minister of Public Security to Urumqi, capital of the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. Meng Jianzhu's mission is to deal with the problems raised by protests triggered by syringe attacks. He has directed local officials to restore social order as quickly as possible. Ren Ting has the story. Meng Jianzhu held a meeting with local officials shortly after he arrived in Urumqi early Friday morning. He said the CPC Central Committee and the central government attach great importance to stability in Xinjiang. He said maintaining stability is the central task in the region right now. He added that those who are involved in violence and those who undermine social order and ethnic unity will be severely punished, regardless of ethnicity. Meng Jianzhu later visited soldiers and armed police units deployed in the city. He also visited a residential community to talk to local residents. He said the recent syringe attacks are linked to the July the fifth riots. He said they are the work of criminals and separatists bent on sabotaging ethnic unity. He told the locals to stay vigilant. He also asked the residents to be patient with regard to current traffic restrictions, which are needed to maintain social order. Meng Jianzhu told the regional government to be fully aware of the seriousness and complexity of the incident, and to adopt more measures to guarantee stability in the region. Ren Ting, CCTV. A senior government official says the situation in Urumqi has been brought under control. He made this statement late Friday after residents took to the streets the previous two days to protest against the hypodermic syringe attacks. Executive Deputy Mayor Zhang Hong said there were no major demonstrations in the city on Friday, one day after massive protests left five people dead. Small crowds gathered on Friday but soon dispersed. A spree of syringe attacks carried out since August the 20th have resulted in panic and resentment by the public. Several suspects were caught Wednesday while attempting more assaults. Investigations say the captured syringe attackers are ethnic Uyghurs, while their victims were Han Chinese and other ethnic minorities. By Thursday, more than 531 people had been hospitalized after being stabbed.